Welcome back to Frozen Syndication, this is Ed. Today, we're going to be talking about Vinco Ventures once more. Now, we did talk about Vinco Ventures before, it goes for the ticker BBIG. My last video from the weekend is in the description below, and there's other videos I made relating towards this one. So without further ado, let's jump right into this one. So Vinco Ventures, a really good day for Vinco Ventures for the most part. It did actually drop from $10, currently sitting almost at $7, still going on into after hours as we speak. Now we do have some actual new news, but if you've never ever heard about Vinco Ventures, well, welcome to this channel. And you'll find my previous videos if you'd like to explore a bit more, but in short, Vinco Ventures has a lot of different things. Their current latest subsidiary is basically into NFT platform. And if you haven't heard, there's something called eNFT.com. And this currently has Tory Lane's albums. And if you do recall, Tory Lane's albums were put up at 1 million copies online for a dollar each. And closer towards the weekend, the prices range anywhere from $5 to something like $100 million, even though it might not be realistic for someone to pay that at this point. But currently, it is actually trading at a different level. Currently, the lowest is around $1.50, so the prices might have dipped just a little. Um, but still almost around 50% higher than people buy it from. And it could be just people are just feeling a little bit anxious, but it could be more of a collectible thing. Um, currently, some of these also show the addition number to be zero, so that might be an error. But you're also seeing, for instance, things like um, addition numbers, um, or let's just put up to high. You're able to see anywhere from around $50,000 all the way the prices go up to, I think, uh, a few million dollars. Uh, in this case, $99 million. So there is definitely different editions as well. Some of them show zero. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, but I'm pretty sure they do have an edition nonetheless number. Um, and the thing that is interesting here before going on towards the short selling side is that it might bring more artists into the game of ENFT or NFT streaming uh, for their albums and raising more money onto that. And it could be kind of replacing even SoundCloud. It depends what direction they want to go for. And another thing I do want to talk about here is institutional buyers. So Vanguard picked up some of their indexes here as well today. On the 30th, they added a few positions here. Uh, I think a total comes around, let's say, around $3 million worth of that. So that's definitely quite interesting to see institutionals uh, buying even at a massive jump. Now, basically, an insider, there's not much to report on. But on the short selling side, things start getting really, really interesting. So start taking a look at this. The short shares available currently is zero dollars or sorry, zero shares, a totaling amount of around zero dollars as well. So currently it is shorted to the brim. You're not able to get even some shorts unless you're doing naked shorting, which is an issue on its own. And if you're able just to take a look into Friday short volumes, you're able to see that on average, more than 50%, more than half of the shares being traded is going to the short side. Like on Friday, for instance, 73 million shares were putting on the short side. That is massive. The current short float for Bingo, or sorry, for uh, Bingo Ventures is around 51%. So that is massive. There's also articles coming out saying up to 60% estimates, millions of dollars are betting on or betting against Vinco Ventures. So it's definitely a massive battle between the longs and the short sellers. I'm not sure which side is which. Now, in terms of the volumes, this one is a record $312 million or 312 million shares, my bad. And out of that, around 50% of the volumes big to what we've seen before is going towards the short selling side. That means an additional, uh, for instance, if you're able to see on Friday, the volume was around 130 million. So an additional around 150 million shares, around 155 million shares, are probably going towards the short selling side based on the short volume. So that on its own is quite massive. Around yesterday or Friday, 73 million, additional 153 million shares. You're talking about 200 million short selling transactions in a short float of around 23 million. This is a very small short float uh, or just general shares float and this one can really spring upwards and can really dive up to perhaps 60 or $100 if the retail really wants to. Because I've seen them do it with AMC and GME and all these different stocks. Of course, I was a disbelief first. And all these other stocks with small floats and high short floats are kind of a prey for people or uh, the retail 
on the long side that is just trying to stick it up to short sellers for whatever reason it might be. Before moving on forward, if you'd like to see more contents like this, make sure to click the subscribe button on the bottom right side corner and leave vacations on for this channel. Also, don't forget to drop a like to this video on mobile. Both options should be in the description below. And also, our Discord server is in the description below if you're interested in that. So, we're going to keep updating you on this. Make sure you mention down what you think about the short selling activity. But let's move on towards technical analysis now. Now, from a technical analysis perspective, what we're seeing here is that things are looking as well interesting. So on the ADX, it suggests that there's a trend still forming up. It's not even on the peak of this trend. So this means it can really move forward ahead. And on William percent R, it shows that this one is not even overbought. What does that mean? It means there's high levels of selling activity. It basically shows that even current level is considered less overbought than the 24th of August. That means on the 24th of August, it had more buying action or more buying momentum than today, which means means that there's a lot of selling signs. It could be from long-time investors or traders who went long here or short selling activity. So that's something to consider. Now, in terms of momentum, it has 3.87, one of the highest momentums that ever recorded, and the MACD is incredibly bullish. Now, in the after hours, it slipped just a little, and you're able to see it's within this trading action zone. The current trading action zone is between 741 and 522. And that's where most positive reversals has or usually occur. Currently, it didn't really reverse in this trend unless you consider it from the 1059. But it's still a bullish trend nonetheless. Below the $5, that's where you start breaking things apart. In terms of the stochastic fast and stochastic slow, both are telling you to be very careful where the next support is, because if it does break it, you might be in a bit of trouble, and I'll show you where that support is. Now, in terms of volumes, it's one of a record high volume, suggesting that we might actually open up a little bit higher from the next day, and then perhaps it could drop, but it really depends on a lot of the momentum and retail uh, themselves. In terms of Fibonacci retracements, the current Fibonacci support is at 660. Below there, 555 and 451. The resistances are 810 and $10. Now, if we were to go ahead and take a look into a two hour perspective, we're able to see currently it's a 671. A very strong support is at 651. Let's do quickly resistances. Around 704 seems to be a strong one, 750. And then above there, 817. And then 872. And then up to 903. But if we were to take a look into a longer period of time, we're able to see that the 605 is a critical support that if it does break it, it might be in a lot of trouble and it does dip down uh, to the next support level somewhere closer to 512 and then below there 444 around 401 364 and then down to the 322 level and then down to the 275 resistances there's not much i mean today it kind of already hit a 52 week high so it could be really interesting when you're playing this forward now it comes to the question to ed what do you think about this one well this is for me Currently, I'm not playing either sides, but it's very interesting for me to watch because I'm literally watching this and it kind of reminds me of uh, what previously happened. Some people are betting against it. Some people are betting for it. The short selling activity is for an all time high. Volumes are all time high. It has a very small float or shares float around 20 ish million dollars or shares itself. And there is a lot of money going both ways. And it's kind of an elastic that keeps getting stretched and stretched and stretched. And at some point, it's going to snap and hurt either side. So honestly, I do think, basically from what I've seen from retail, that it could pull, pull an AMC or a GME. Because support.com, for instance, went all the way to 60 bucks. This one only to $10. And this one has a stronger and a bigger shares float or shorts shares float than support.com. So there could be a lot of potential here. Now, this is not an advice. I'm not telling you to go ahead for it. I'm just speculating based on the current market conditions and what I'm seeing. And it's definitely very exciting for me. I really looking forward for this one to gain a bit higher momentum. It does look very interesting. And I do think that retail might pull this one off. What do you think? Make a mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe and like and have a wonderful day.
Now, if you're still here on this video, make sure to drop down below and join our Discord. We have a lot of different things going on, including, for instance, members that gives picks for free. It's not pump and dumps, we just things we think about, swings, etc. We also have really exciting bots. Uh, you can actually use those ones. For instance, we're just testing out this bot, for instance, that gives you Fibonacci resistance points, activities, etc. And we have a bunch of free things, totally free. We run on tips here, and you can ask me questions, suggest stocks, etc. It's a really nice community that has been growing up uh, very fast at a very good rate and it's totally free if you would like to join that one feel to do so in the description below and have a wonderful day